That run around the yeah, building! Hell yeah. <laughs> Boys, what's happening? How are we doing? Close. We just got off work. Hell yeah! What do you what do you guys do for a living? We fix the camera on my end. We work. We work at a, a factory. Mm -hmm. Are you allowed to go into any detail what you do in the factory, or just keep it private? It's it's a lube factory. So <laughs> what? It's pretty what? funny. Yeah, yes, but... that's. That is hilarious. I love it. Uh, gentlemen, if you could, could you please properly introduce yourself, let us know whereabouts in the world you are, and plug or promote anything you'd like. Yeah, um, so I'm Jeff, and um, this is Angelo. Um, I do vocals in the band, and uh, I do guitar and backup vocals for Memoir. Yes, and we're, in, uh, we're from Vegas. From, are you guys both born and raised in Nevada, or did you end up moving there? We're actually both not from yeah. here. <laughs> both not from here. Um, I'm from Chicago, and I'm from New Jersey. What? How did you end up in in Vegas? And did you guys know each other prior to going to Vegas? No. no. Cool. Um, I ended up going there just because uh, my family just wanted to move somewhere that wasn't like super fucking cold. So we just ended up uh, moving out here when I was like five or six, and then I've pretty much been out here ever since. Yeah, it's pretty much like the same thing with me too. It was like family was just over the cold and everything. Uh, we were, you know, all the East Coast like blizzards and snowstorms. They were just over it, so they're just like, you know, let's just go somewhere where like nothing really happens. So, <laughs> and then we met when we were like eighteen, nineteen, and started a band. It wasn't this band, but yeah. What was, what was the band like, that you guys were in? Pri what were you? What was the band that you guys were both in prior to this one? We were in a band called Azalea before this oh, band. Yeah. yeah. That sounds familiar. Did you guys play a lot? Like, was it around for a while and you played out a bunch? Um, we, we were around for a good little bit. Um, we did have some stuff through, like, Brian Stars and all that. And, yeah. Um, did, like, a few tours and all that. But, you know, nothing too, like, major. Yeah. Cool. And then and then I'll, I'll, here comes the, the new band. Why go from Azalea to Memoir? Like, what was the transition that happened? And did any other members from the previous band come with you or was it just you two? So it's funny because almost every member we had in Azalea is in this band now. Um, all We actually like kind of found all of our like favorite members from like our older bands. And then when we started this band, we were like, okay, we really want this one to work. So we need people we can really trust. So we just picked like the cream of the crop from all those. Um, we all just people. like mesh really I'll take well. You. Yeah. You know we all I'll take work, you. you know? so, yeah, I'll take basically, you. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm gonna start off with my solace, a little bit of an older one, then we'll get to some of the newer stuff. But can you talk about what this song means to you guys? Um, I mean, I kind of just wrote that song uh, when I stopped doing music. When we like broke up in Azalea, we all kind of like went our separate ways. And uh, when we got back in Memoir, you know, it was really like we really wanted to write a song that like showed people like like how much doing music together meant to us. So um, it's kind of just like about like doing what you love with the people you love again, you know, just like kind of, you know, finding your peace somehow, you know, and that's like kind of what we did with this new lineup. We just ended up, you know, being best buds again and doing what we love together again. And yeah. Hell yeah. Sky Drifter says hello, by the way. <laughs> what up, <Hey>. dude? <laughs> <laughs> this is my solace. You know, learn a lot from him you know while we were filming with him and we really appreciated like everything he taught us so who did you say cool the music was loud i did i didn't hear who you said was a director uh dana willax he's um in kingdom of giants he's their vocalist mm -hmm. hell yeah that's awesome all right we got a lot of jams to play so i'm gonna keep it moving a little bit but uh fellas what are you hell doing yeah. in your in your spare time do you, are you guys gamers do you have any like weird hobbies this guy is like so broken at Mortal Kombat, it's not even funny. But, like, uh, yeah. So besides like memoir, um, like the main thing that I do is I'm a voice actor. And oh, cool. I also, um, and I also uh, play competitively for a few fighting games, like Jeff mentioned. Mortal Kombat. Mm, very yeah, competitively. So. <laughs> so you go around in tournaments and and get cash if you if you place. That's awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah! I feel like I could almost go that level with Call of Duty Mobile. Almost. 
But um, <laughs> what about like regarding voice acting? Anything that uh, I may have seen? As of right now, no. It's been um, mainly like some smaller like commercial and animation stuff. Um, pretty much just, you know, same thing with like this music thing, just like working my way up, you know, and kind of just keeping it under wraps until, um, you know, until I'm allowed to say some, some things. And all that. So, yeah. How does one get started in that? Is that just like you find an ad on like Craigslist or you do you specifically get a management manager for that? Or how did you um, for, get started for in me, that? For, yeah, for me, it was more of like, because I, I didn't know what the hell to start either. So um, basically, it just started off with me like taking like classes and all that and like doing like a whole bunch of networking because like coming from the music scene, like I didn't know anybody that was like into that kind of thing here in Vegas. So I kind of had to like do some digging and next thing you know, I ended up finding classes. I, I found like coaches and stuff and uh, from there kind of just network with like other sectors and stuff. So yeah. Hell yeah, very cool. Uh, let's talk about Wander next. What is Wander about? So that one, it's kind of like when I write all my songs, I like to like it's it's like multi theme most of the time because I like to pull from, from a lot of like um, really emotional like moments in my life, you know. And um, that one was more so about like just realizing what you did when you fucked up and moving forward from it. That's kind of like the whole premise of the ep is like you know no matter what you go through you're always still like healing from it you know you're always still like building to be a better person and you kind of like that song kind of emulates the whole ep in my opinion it's my favorite song on the ep and i wish we did a video for it but yeah, yeah like, I think that's like it's a really emotional song and and i, and I love playing it every single time we play it so that's oh, it's yeah. there for sure too. <laughs> in, in a bit here we're gonna do some trivia my my goal is to try and stump you guys i feel like if we go the mortal Kombat <laughs> trivia route we may not be able to stump you but is there something oh no <laughs> I'm going to try, but is there something else besides yeah. <laughs> that that you guys feel like you know more than anything about in the either TV film franchise or video game franchise? Something that uh, I could... I'll like give you a second Marvel, to think. DC. Yeah, like Marvel, DC, like nerdy stuff. Anime. Anime. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go Mortal Kombat and Marvel. Can it be a question about the game and the movie? Is that okay for Mortal Kombat? Um, yeah. yeah. That's okay, cool. Me. Okay. Absolutely. Give me a second to find some. I'm gonna stump you. Oh yeah, really quick, fellas, can you drop all your social media links so everybody knows where to follow you guys if they're watching? No, yeah, um, we're kind of like on a phone, but um, well, yeah, I mean, basically it's like it's the same thing for like you. Don't, you Twitter. don't have to type it. I'm just saying, like, just just yell it out oh, loud. Oh, okay. I was like, uh. <laughs> you're all like. Um, it's just uh, memoir. So like our band name, and then NV for everything. You don't need to do the like accent on the e that's just there to be like fancy for the logo but yeah if you just type our band fancy name schmancy. and then literally n and v it's everything you can find Twitter, everything Instagram, youtube TikTok, youtube all right could be the most important question i've asked you this whole interview and it is <laughs> in the mortal kombat movie the original one from 1995 what character makes a cameo appearance but does not engage in any fights and you can select this character but you cannot select him in the first game <laughs> oh, first, oh, so we're talking about the game this is about the first okay, mortal kombat movie there is a character that makes a cameo in the movie but he is not at all in the first game this character that oh, i'm okay. looking for does not fight in the movie either that's a good one. Oh, what? <laughs> I think we're going to get him. I think we're going to get him. <laughs> You're going to get me. You're going to get me. Yes! Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> the answer is Jax. Jax is Sonya's partner, oh. and you see Jax, but he doesn't ever fight in the film. And I, at the, in the first one, I, I think he has his normal arms also, pre bionic arms. They were just. Yeah, just chased him after Kano, but he doesn't do anything. Okay. Had you yeah. gotten it correct, now we would have spun this wheel. I'll right. still spin it anyway just to see what it lands on. But uh, talk about Dim. How did it come about you guys linked up with uh, Ben of Extortionist? Um, so that's actually pretty funny because <laughs> we were filming it that day and we didn't have a feature done. So he was there filming it with our director, Matt. 
And Matt was like, dude, like Ben is here. He's a vocalist. And I was like, oh shit, what band are you in? And he's like, extortionist. And I was like, oh fuck, dude, I love your band. And I was like, uh, do you want to do it? And he was like, uh, yeah, you know, like <laughs> as long as you guys like pay me and shit, you know, like all the normal shit. And I was like, dude, yeah, we got you. Don't worry. We literally had seven minutes left of shooting the music video. And within that time, he wrote all the lyrics to his parts and then recorded his parts without even having a recording on it. So wow. He would just go to a studio later That's to record his He literally just <laughs> mouthed his parts and then made it like Matt made it look like he like knew that shit and had it down. So <laughs> shout out to Ben. Yeah, ben that was, real one, man. That I was love the behind the scenes awesome. stories that we get sometimes, man. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Well, we're definitely gonna play the feature at least, but this is dim. Hanging out with the boys in memoir. If you guys like it, please support them. Thing within the next month. Um, and then we're trying to put out basically like a song every month or like month and a half. We've just been like hoarding songs because um, we just want to, we, we've realized that like releasing singles gets you uh, more fans, like uh, instead of just dropping like one thing and then hoping it that you can like carry out with that one album the rest You're, of the year. I've heard a lot so, of bands say exactly the same thing. Just hit them with single a little bit of time, single a little bit more time, single. Yes, yeah. because you can just do something every month in case like your release gets like overshadowed by something that's going to be like, say like we dropped like our whole album the same day, like Bring Me the Horizon or like a day to remember dropped an album. And then it's like, oh, well, no one's going to give no, a fuck. Yeah. You know? So <laughs> it's like every month you have that chance to like, be that band that like oh yeah they drop something fucking this month and if we yeah. you know a bunch of big bands drop shit that month then we have next month to do it yeah. um we might be playing like a dope ass festival um towards the end of the year and then we might do a few like weekend warrior tours we just uh did one and we played like uh the pacific northwest and like um reno uh bay area that was really dope we might go back up there again just because like we love Bay Area and like Sacramento and all that. Um, yeah, everyone's been like super supportive and like everyone's just been getting down at our shows and everything. And the, the support's been unreal. Yeah, it's yeah. it's cool. We really like that people dig the heavier sounds. So. Yeah. Hell yeah. Chad wants me to ask if you guys would ever play a Southern California Battle of the Bands, of which if you won, you'd have to play a second Battle of the Bands about a week later. But if you won that one, then you could Dude. be in. The local band Smokeout Festival happening August 13th. Dude, yeah, like, that like we awesome. have some spots uh, left if you guys are interested. I know, uh, I know that Sky Drifter's playing the festival, but uh, regarding the Battle of the Bands, if you're interested, I'll, I'll have Lizzie hit you up right after this and um, just yes, pick her brain about it, and maybe maybe it. we can make it happen. That'd be cool. Yeah, Hell yeah! Of course. Yeah, thank you for that. I'm going to go to Spotify. We have time to play one more. Is there one track of yours in your entire catalog that we have to hear that we just have not heard yet? No soul. No soul's a good one. Just yeah. get like, it. First, like that one live is just phenomenal. Just just energy. Energy. Yeah. No soul heard. Let's check it out. So this is always <laughs> in the set. This is always in the set right here. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, it, it picks everything back up. Yeah. Good stuff. Fellas, I appreciate you hanging out with me, man. What do you guys got planned uh, the rest of the day after this is over? Oh, dude, we're taking some pictures, uh, doing some more band stuff, and uh, just putting together our next Excellent. release. for The next song we're putting out is uh, Entropy, and um, it will be out within this next month 100%, and we're so excited to unveil it. All the songs we got coming out are super heavy, and... It's going to be a fun time. I really hope everyone digs it and we get a bunch of new fans from it. Yeah. So end of May, probably end of May, we'll be getting that one. Yes. Fantastic. Hell yeah. Gentlemen, I appreciate you so much. At Memoir NV on everything. Please go follow them, support them, yes, whatever you guys can do. Gentlemen, this is a pleasure. Please don't be a stranger. You're welcome back anytime you'd like. Other than that, thank you, man. Enjoy you. the rest of your day. It. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. You too, man. Thank you. Give me a hell Memoir! Yeah. <laughs>